Nasanya. I don't have time to talk now. Oh, well, fuck busy. you too. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? How does everybody you know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger than average stir among the diplomats and hangers on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. Fuck yeah, fill me up. I mean, in. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies, not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Sounds good to me. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors <laughs> have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Well, yeah, it's good to know that sluts are not frowned upon. Tell me about Flux in Cora's den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Sounds like my kind of place. Let's go, boys. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. There's some god awful quest where they ask you to like scan all the fucking keepers. Just to let you guys know we're not doing that now. Cause that is terrible. I'm not even gonna do it and not record it. It is just god fucking awful. Learns you have to get all ten of them and oh what a big monstrous pain in the ass. Get lost, fucking chick from Halo 4. All right, so where are we at? We want to go. Oh, we're at the Volus and the Elcor office. Oh, okay. So we. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So we did both of those things. Let's see where this can take us to. Presidium locations. Hmm. Citadel Tower. Wait, do we want to go there? Oh, no, 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 we don't want to go to the Citadel Tower yet. We want to go down and explore first. Jesus. Get me the fuck out of here. Okay, Presidium is where the Embassy Citadel Emporium behind you is a tower. Yeah. Oh, god damn, that was fast. <laughs> this is fucking awkward. Uh, so you guys heard any good jokes lately? The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Kaden, did you toot again? Gosh dang it. You think it would be sealed up inside that suit of yours? Oh, wait, once again. Oh, wait. Oh, I like this little fucking Mexican fiesta music. Is there a way to get out of this, or is this just still... <laughs> oh, I fucking love it! It literally makes you ride the fucking elevator. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Your mouth is working again. Don't mind me! Okay, we're good. Just wanted to make sure it's real water. Looks like it checks out. Who are these people? Anything going on over here? Nah. See no rapid transit. Oh, a bit of a shifty character. Aha! Barlovan! What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. Um, and you are captain of the Creepers, if memory serves me, correct? I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barlavan. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. 
I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. Yeah, yeah. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. So... Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. Uh. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. Oh, yes, yes, yes. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. I don't buy that horse shit! Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Oh, I'm not big on that tone. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. Isn't that nice? What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Mr. Anderson. Just a note, he said dozens, emphasis on dozens of species. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't see dozens. Emporium shopkeeper. What up? Oh, there's something back. Oh, make sure to go up there. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? <laughs> this one's face name is Delaninder, though many wow. in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Where do you keep those goods? Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, well. and are only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. I'm pretty sure it's not culture that makes us curious, but uh, let's see what you have for sale. I'd like to see these rare and wonderful items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so we've got upgrades, standard items, and non-human armors, which we don't really have a need for yet. Let's see what you got as far as the upgrades go. Ooh, radioactive round. Oh, wait, that's, I don't need those. Oh, plus 45 shields, that would be nice. Ooh, damage against synthetics, those are good, I'll buy that. Shield battery. Um, I'm not going to get those. Commander. It oh. is good to see you again. Well, yeah, it's Would been a while. To see some of its fantastic items today? Yeah, I'll get something. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay, let's see if he's got anything good that I can use. I guess I don't have to worry about the... Oh, hmm. Ah, okay, so these licenses right here... I try to remember to explain things as I go along. These licenses, they allow that guy back on my ship next to the Mako to sell me additional goods. And they're really cheap. They're just 100 credits, and I have 3,700 right now. 
Um, light armor Aquarian, light armor Human, Fe oh, 10k. Um, hmm. So, well, it's just marginally better than the one I'm wearing right now, anyway. Uh, there's also the shotgun. Wow, 200 fucking damage, that's big. I wouldn't want to roll with that shotgun anyway, at least not until I get, um, get a lot more shields. I think eventually you could run whatever build you want. You could run this as a tankish build. It just wouldn't be successful until, like, midway through. I want to make sure there's no other codex entries up here. Um, and I really don't have too much experience playing uh, too many of the other classes in here. I think I've gone through this game as... Well, I've gone through as a variety of different ones. Some of the classes, like people have mentioned, I don't know if you've heard them mention, Soldier can be very effective. But I don't think that they're necessarily the most enjoyable to play. Welcome to the Presidium. So... Uh, soldier, I think, can be real great. Um, one of the easier classes, especially for a, a newbie to sit down and uh, really hammer out. But not the most enjoyable, I don't think. Those powers are just too much fun, and you just wait till we are sending people in the fucking orbit, and you'll see. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? One of the things I want to point out real quick, too, is I love how, like, even though they're the same species and they don't all talk the exact same way, and they did such a good job at bringing, um, bringing life via the voice actors into the different characters. Like, they all have their own personalities, and it's so nice. They're not cardboard cutouts. It's not, you know, it doesn't feel like, wow, where you're just walking up and spamming questions to advance to the next quest and get your experience. Like, they all have... They all have their own distinct personalities. It's pretty cool. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Uh... What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. What the fuck? I would love to set up a shop where I'm like, Well, you won't really know what I'm selling, but I can promise you, you will want it after I'm done, and I'm going to charge the largest price in the galaxy for it. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Alright, let's do this. Can't I just go in? Oh. Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you okay. must yep. understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Mm, Alright, let's do that. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. What? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? That should do it. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. <laughs> yes, of course, mistress. Mm -hmm. I wish they weren't wearing the exact same clothes, though. It's kind of lame. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Let's do that! Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be able to get out of my clothes fast enough. I see even the humans find the consort here. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Plug your ears. This is going to be wild. All right! Oh my god, a fucking purple sex bubble! Those are my favorite! I'm so glad they have them here. That is close enough, Commander. Oh, shit. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Uh-huh. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, 
comfort to others. Mm -hmm. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Okay. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Oh, if you would fuck. speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Uh, what happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. All right. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? That's it? You, take your leave. you little I fucking cockties! Oh, I'm gonna get you so good! Where's that fucking general at? Let's go to Gora's Den! I think... Well, we went to that Presidium... Or, not the Presidium. We went to Barlavon. We went to the... Who's that guy? The walker dude? The Hanar. The Hanar. We went and saw the Hanar. And now... What all do we have? We don't think we have much left besides... The lower levels where... According to... Ah, yeah. Oh, C-Sec Academy too. And if we're lucky, we may even bump into a certain someone. And definitely put in some walking... Jesus, can I get at least a people mover for Pete's sake? A people mover! That's all I ask for. Uh, financial district. Oh. Towards. Um, CSEC Academy. Well, let's go. I don't remember. Let's go to the wards first. I think the wards is where. Where we need to go. Down below. Uh, to the embassy, Citadel Tower. Oh, yes, down this way. And then I think you have to... Do we have to walk there first? Oh, wait, can we go all the way over here? There's nothing over there, though. I think it just wraps all the way around. Yes, this is where we need to go. To the wards. Alright, I've got my fucking pleasure shoes on. Let's fucking get to it. Wait a minute. Why is this red? Oh, gotta talk to the council, okay. So maybe go talk to the council. Should we stop by Seasick first, maybe? Hmm? There may be an oldie but a goodie over there. What are you looking at? Are you looking at my fucking ass? Well, I can't say I blame you, because it looks fucking good. Looks like a little... Pack me all though with all these goddamn guns I'm toting around. Alright, let's head over to, uh. Let's go to CSEC. See if we can go there. I'm storming right now. I am so storming. See if we can go to CSEC. If not, I mean, our options are pretty fucking limited. We'll see if this little people mover thing can take me there. Oh, Presidium locations. Um. Oh, god damn! So now we can go to the tower, the financial district, wards access, consort chambers. And I think that um, CSEC Academy will show up once we unlock it. Is CSEC Academy underneath us? Might be. Okay, this looks like it's probably locked too, but I bet if we click on it, we can. Um, yeah, let's go talk to the council. I'll bet if we click on it, now we have access to it quickly. Alright, let's head over, go to the uh, council, see what they want to chit chat about. Um, nope, okay, we can't. Let's go to the tower. Hey, yo! <laughs> What up, bitches? Gear is the Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Don't you be ridiculous. The investigation is over, Garrus. Asshole. The fuck does this guy think he is, huh? 
Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Well, you fucking screwed the pooch on that one, pal. Sounds like he came up empty. Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Yeah. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I can only hope, because I've got a lot to tell the Council. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. Gotta love those fucking green rounds. Those are hot. What I think, what I end up uh, liking to do is, regardless of the damage, well, I'll choose whatever one seems to give the most damage. And then I will um, give my teammates other types of rounds. That way we can tell whose rounds are who. Right now I think we have two of us in green rounds. But that's why I want to see like whose shots are whose. Okay, fuck you too, buddy. All right, Council, this better be good. I have walked a long way. The hearing's already started. Come on. Okay, let's go. I had to make the rounds around the The death shots. attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. Yeah. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. True. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. Mm. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Oh, you will never see the last of me! You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. <laughs> your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. You and mine. arrogant son of a bitch. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. <laughs> the Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Well, that was less than productive. Jump off and fucking end it, please. Stuck up shit, egg. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. I couldn't agree more! Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Yeah. <laughs> What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Mm. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? Mm -hmm. We saw him arguing with the executor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Uh, I don't know. He's a Turian. I don't want him on our side. <laughs> Not all Turians are like Saren. If he can help, we need to find him. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. 
They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. Fucking drunks. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the council using your past history with Saturn as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Oh, no, you didn't. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Fuck. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Oh! Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Sounds good to me. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. That makes two of us. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Interesting. Yeah, who's this fucking Shadow Broker? Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is, or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Mm. And the Spectres? I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes, more extreme measures are needed. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Death. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. And how do you choose these Spectres? How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. Mm. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. Mm -hmm. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. I see. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. 